Hey guys, my name is Pericor and welcome back to a brand new video. This is going to be a very short and quick video because I just want to showcase a unit that Studio Hopper has released two or three days ago. So the unit I'm talking about is the EE9 Cascavel. So the unit is pretty average, it has 900 firepower, 75 armor, as well as 19 group limit and a reload of 4. Aside from that, it takes 3 minutes to build, costs you 195,000 steel and 175,000 aluminum. Okay, so in comparison, the AML90 does have little less armor, much higher group limit, a faster reload speed, and is in comparison faster to build and cheaper to build, even if just by a notch. Um, what makes the E9 Cascavel, I guess, special is that you can get gold through it. So if you build 100 of these in a single week, you will get 10 gold. Now, it tells us to see the weekly quest, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So let's just go into the quest tab. So here you see the new weekly quest. Uh, build this week 100 EE9 tanks, which gives you as a reward 10 gold. Well, technically not a bad idea, but practically, well... You must have less than 10 gold, or be a buyer, or have more than 5 bases to be able to pick the reward. Unless they have changed it in Combat Siege, um, I believe that the gold generating units, so the Rhino in this game, the Jarmila in base attack force, the Morse car in strategy combat, they all have basically a storage limit. So the storage limit for the gold generating unit was 25 with only the home base and 50 with the uh, with the second base. Which was fine to me personally. Um, I still think the gold limit isn't exactly necessary. But we have this unit now. So you have to build 100 times this. If you build 100 times this, we can also get 10 gold. But with a much higher uh, storage limit. I mean, this one obviously wants you to have 9 gold or less in order to pick it up. This one doesn't care if you have 20 gold because you can build up to 25 with a home base and 50 with a second base. So Studio Hopper, I don't exactly understand why you un uh, introduced this unit in particular because it doesn't really seem to make any sense. So unless you have, you know, locked the storage limit of gold to 10 with this unit, which I sincerely hope you didn't do, I don't think this one is any way smart. Now, this one would be smart, however, if we say, for instance, you reach the storage limit of gold with this unit. So let's just say you are on your home base. You know, you only have the home base, so your storage limit is at 25. So the game obviously tells you, well, you have reached your storage limit, but now the game would tell you if you want more than 25 gold stored, you have to build this unit in order to pass this. So you could, for instance, say that this is basically the way to get more gold beyond the storage limit, but at a much slower rate. Because I personally know for myself that I can build 12, uh, that I can get 12 gold every day or even more than this. So, you know, this would be a soft limit because 10 gold per week is really not a lot. So with this being said, uh, Studio Hopper, just consider this suggestion of making this the gold storage breaking unit. It would make it a bit easier for new players as well to get some higher quality upgrades. And with this being said, I guess I will see you in the next video. Peace.